here are 10 reasons why you should give birth in Argentina. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Mills and I'm back with another video. I've done a video about five best birth tourism countries and if you are my subscriber, then the video is going to pop up somewhere there. But if you're not my returning subscriber, I'm going to leave the link in the description section. But then, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, why not? Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so every time that I upload a new video like this, you should get notified and if you're my returning subscriber thank you again for watching i remain loyal argentina has always been in my bucket list in 2016 i was looking for countries that i'm going to visit after my wedding for honeymoon or just vacation and i had three in mind i had brazil i had argentina and i had chile fast forward to 2019 when i was coming for vacation i remember vividly when i was going to apply for my brazilian visa there was a little delay and I was like oh if this is not working out then I'm just going to apply for my Argentina visa you know what I mean but then everything went as planned so I finally came to Brazil I didn't know there was an update about giving birth in Argentina until I received a comment on the that video from somebody who chose Argentina as his or her best birth tourism country and stated the reasons why. I was so surprised and perplexed by the comment that I had to first of all go ahead to do a research before coming back to reply to the comment. And when I went to do my research, I discovered that there have been a lot of updates on birth tourism in Argentina. I'm here to give you 10 reasons why you should give birth to your baby baby in Argentina. Number one, it is easy to get Argentina visa. When I say easy, I mean the processing time. The processing time takes between six days up to 30 days. So it takes like a, a week until a month to process it. Considering the fact that many tourist visas around South America or Latin America now is taking a longer time. So it's very easy for you to process it. Number two, the cost of birth in Argentina is cheap. Let's talk about the cost of birth. For the public hospitals, if you want to give birth in a public hospital, it's going to be free. If you want to give birth in a private setting, is very cheap five hundred dollars one thousand dollars two thousand dollars and so their commenter wrote five hundred dollars that takes me to number three they have a very good health care service so the medical services and the health care services in argentina is good you don't have to worry about that number four argentina being one of the best tourism countries it therefore means that when you give birth to your baby in argentina no matter the nationality of the parents the child becomes an argentina that is just giving your child a second nationality argentina accepts dual nationality now when we talk about dual na nationality it's not only two it means two or more nationalities but it just used dual to signify more than one number five this is the most interesting one and this this is the update all right this is very very interesting now before when you give birth to your child as foreigners you can apply for permanent residence immediate and also take note in Argentina the immigration system when it comes to residency and citizenship is very very relaxed in fact as of 2024 that I'm talking to you it has the fastest route to citizenship and a permanent resident in Argentina for those who don't know it doesn't matter the type of visa or the type of immigration status that you have be it a temporary resident visa if you leave in Argentina for two years continuously uninterrupted you can apply for citizenship be it work be it study anything temporal business after two years living in Argentina you can apply for citizenship I saw this from the commenter and I did the research I went to the government website and I saw this so I'm going to read it out directly from the government website so that there is no false information given here. I'm going to read only that particular requirement because that is what I want to talk about. It reads, have two years of uninterrupted and documented residence 
in the country certified by the national immigration directorate and then it has in brackets which is a special requirement except if you're married to a native argentinian citizen or you have a native child what does that mean it means that if you give birth to your child in argentina you don't need to apply for permanent resident to wait for another one year on the permanent resident just like brazil you can just apply for citizenship immediately and this is something that you can never find anywhere even in brazil because in brazil when you give birth to your child you need to first of all apply for permanent residency and then after one year on your permanent residency then you can apply for citizenship and another interesting fact in argentina you don't necessarily need to prove spanish language unlike brazil where you need to prove that you can speak portuguese and you need to prove that using a certificate looking at all the requirements here from the website there is no language but of course you need to know basic spanish so just imagine giving birth to your child your child becomes an argentina citizen as well as you getting a citizenship like applying for it almost immediately and getting it after i think the processing takes like a, a year or a year and a half so let's say in less than a year or in a year you can get citizenship six Let's talk about Argentina passport. Argentina passport is visa free to 171 countries as of 2024. It's in the first 20 most strongest passports in the world. It goes to many countries, all European countries. It's visa free to all South American countries. And it's also um, visa free to Japan. And you have electronic visa for New Zealand. And if you're been to Canada or America in the last 10 years, then you can apply for electronic visa as well. This takes me to the next reason. Seven, with the Argentina passport also, you are free to go to 10 other countries which are under this agreement, we call it the Mercosur countries in South America and work, live, study permanently. All you need to do is just to apply for permanent residency. You have countries like Chile, you have Uruguay, you have Paraguay, you have Bolivia, you have Brazil, you have all the countries where you can go there and apply for permanent residence. If you gain citizenship through naturalization, then you need to wait for five years on your naturalization for you to leave, work, study in these other countries. Eight, the next benefit that I want to talk about is still on this passport. When you have an Argentina passport, you can participate in what we call the work holiday program if you actually have an argentina passport and you are from the ages 18 until 30 years old then you can participate in what we call the work holiday program from the name work holiday or holiday work program it means that during holidays you can work during this period and you have a minimum of one year it can be renewable depending on the country and argentina has a lot of bilateral agreement with many countries under the scheme it has an agreement with 10 other countries on the scheme where you can go for holidays and you work you have australia you have denmark you have germany you have new zealand you have sweden you have france you have ireland you have japan you have Netherlands and Norway. So those are very good countries that you can go there and make some money while you're on vacation. The only downside is that this does not cover the dependent visa. So if you want to go for the holiday work program, then you need to go alone. Nine, it is cheaper to live in Argentina than most of these countries. So getting around like, you know, renting and all those things are a little bit cheaper than other countries don't get me wrong it might be expensive to you depending on you depending on your budget and depending on your income all right but then it's cheaper than most countries in the america's continent number 10 is the language argentina speaks spanish all right and let's say if i'm, co if I'm to compare spanish to portuguese learning spanish is easier than learning portuguese and the good thing is that most of the countries in south america they actually speak spanish although you have one or two words that might be different but actually um spanish is spanish you know what i mean so majority of the words 
can be understandable. So if you have to leave work, study in maybe these countries on the Mekoso, most of them speak Spanish. So it's going to be easy for you to easily adapt. And also in Argentina, many of them, if not 25% to 30% actually understand English. So it's going to be easy for you to get around. So those are the reasons or the benefits that I think giving birth to a child in Argentina is worth it. If you find this video interesting, make sure you leave a thumbs up, like, share, and you leave a comment. If you want to add something to which I've already spoken about, or you want to ask any question, if you've been watching me until this time that you haven't still subscribed, pause the video, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get updated every time I upload a new video. In that same light. Ah!